Here's a recap of what we know about the voodoo murders. Seven killings have so far been linked to the voodoo murders case, all in the past eight weeks. In each case, the MO is the same. The victim has his heart cut out of his chest with a ritualistic knife. The killers take the heart with them. Around the site, the police find animal blood, a ritualistic pattern drawn in blood and flour, and evidence of many people walking around barefoot. At least 20 people attend the killings. We know this from the variety of footprints found at the scene. Candles are found around, as are snake scales, chicken feathers, and even leopard fur. The police believe the voodoo angle is misdirection. They're convinced that the killings are between rival underworld gangs, and the victims are all from out of town, so this may be some kind of turf war. The killings involve around 20 people. They bring candles, animals, ritual knives. That's a lot of effort to go through just to cover up a gang war. The police seem peculiarly uninterested in the motive for the murders, likely because all of the victims are criminals. It's not clear why they're so convinced that the voodoo angle is bogus, and they haven't even tried to research whether this kind of ritual would even be authentic. The proprietor of a voodoo museum, Dr. John, told us that the murders are not related to voodoo, but the voodoo in magenta suggested otherwise. Fake? Let me tell you about fake. If I get information through the grapevine and make use of it, is that fake? No. The killers are clearly good at what they do. Regardless of whether the voodoo is real or not, they never leave any of their own fingerprints, blood, or anything else that might indicate who they are. Nobody has ever reported hearing or seeing anything. Meanwhile, Gabriel is trying to investigate the underbelly of voodoo practitioners in New Orleans. Dr. John appears to have gotten a message written in a secret voodoo code. It told him to bring something called a foot cache to a conclave. Even if the message was not directed to Dr. John, and instead to another person called DJ, it makes sense to try to spy on one of these conclaves, if for no other reason than to flesh out the book. It seems like we still haven't spoken to anyone who's willing to tell us about the dark underworld of New Orleans voodoo. Nothing, nothing. Those killings have nothing to do with my shop, monsieur. We observed an old Creole woman in the drugstore, and Gabriel thinks she may know something about the long-standing voodoo practice in the city. It may be unlikely, but we should probably try to talk to her, since she might be less tight-lipped than some of the other characters we've met. You have to come up with some explanation for why we would possibly care. <laughs> we just like little old ladies. I do not. I really don't. <laughs> like, I, I really don't like old ladies. They're kind of creepy. They're terrible people. They tend to be. They are. Because they don't care anymore. They're racists. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like my grandmother. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, she just calls black people by racial epithets. Not as an epithet, but that's just what she calls them. <laughs> I, I was like, oh, God, I'm Grandma. I'm so glad you could join us today. Like the episode of Louie. I've got messages. Yeah. 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 It was just like that. <laughs> mm. She's German, too. So that's a whole... There are multiple anyway, we saw this before. Um, page, but you have to figure out the right one. I, I, so I... Yeah. They never actually right. say why we would care about Kazanu. So I, I kind of filled in that information. I don't know how you're supposed to figure that out. And there's one other really unfair thing in this chapter. No, um, we used a mime to distract a guy one time. But we knew why we were doing mm. it, right? Like, we knew that we needed to talk to or to listen to the radio. We, we don't know. Hear it. We don't know why we need to talk to Kazanu at all. Because we saw her. Right. <laughs> we probably there. saw 10,000 people. Yeah, but you can't talk to most of those. You know, She's an option. Men with bank accounts. You underestimate the Knight family's tragic poet Samurai appeal. Samurai. Samurai. <laughs> the voice acting is a little bit better in this huh. episode. Uh, well, mostly Grace, I think. Fishy in your family tree. But seriously, I think you should be careful. Some of it's much worse. <laughs> Grace. Like that. I'm serious. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I don't know why, but I have a bad feeling in the pit of my stomach about this. Uh, it's called jealousy, my dear. And you're right. You should be jealous of Malia Getty. As should every woman on this planet. I don't know. I just... I, oh, never mind. 
I'll just fix these books. Your life is in your own Gonna slippery little books. hands. Mm -hmm. The point is to get it into somebody else's hands. And soon. I still don't understand that line. Mm. I think he's talking about his wiener. Oh, okay. His life is his wiener? Could be. Hmm. He may feel that way. Anyway, this chapter didn't divide nice, so I, <laughs> I kind of split it. Chapter four is really short. Times Pickle Hume, mm. dated June 20, 1993. I'm dying. Gabriel stands <laughs> over an uninteresting front. Then why would you tell us about it? Under the cultural events section, there's a notice yeah. about a lecture Timely. on African religions. The lecture is at Tulane University. Presumably, there are a lot of lectures going on at the university. Probably. Why do they advertise them in the newspaper? Well, not all of them are public. Change course before it's too late. Lighten up. It doesn't look, when we get there, you'll see that it does not look like a public lecture. Hmm. It looks like a normal lecture. Well, maybe, I mean, that happens sometimes. Mm-hmm. I haven't shown off Gabriel's bedroom. There's not a lot to do in there, but you you do in this <laughs> chapter. Uh, oh, by the way, this takes place in New Orleans. There's Mardi Gras. Don't forget Mardi Gras. Hey, there's Mardi Gras. Look, there are beads. And a creepy mask. Thing. And a mask and a Mardi Gras poster. Do you remember that this is in New Orleans? Let's have a it's sit. No use. I can't sleep. Can't sleep. You can use the phone. But I don't want to call Kazunu yet. <laughs> I don't. Those buttons don't do anything. Mm -hmm. Writer's block. Gabriel also can't write. And we're gonna do the typical adventure game thing and grab everything that looks like you can <laughs> grab it. I'll take this hair gel. Anything that ain't nailed you down. You know when you'll need a touch up. Mm hmm You should grab a towel. Never know when you might need a towel. I might need a flashlight. I don't, I don't know that Gabriel showers. <laughs> <laughs> Like, there is a okay. shower back there, but he Maybe. always wears the same thing. He must be pretty ripe by now, though. You would think. <laughs> Plus, he, he walks around in a jacket during June. <laughs> right. In, in New, New Orleans. Orleans. <laughs> Jesus. It's a bit warm there. Yeah. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Do you have messages for me? Yes. Your pal mostly called. He left a message that they're interrogating a suspect this morning, and you might want to be there. <laughs> Who we found? <laughs> Whose badge mm -hmm. we stole I in bet. the previous yeah, day? Yeah, well, did we get that back to him? No, we did more not. messages no, we from me. Do that then. That man from Germany called again, Wolfgang Ritter. Now he's claiming to be a relative of yours. I took down his number. If you change your mind and want to give him a call back, just ask me for it. Can I get that phone number for Wolfgang Ritter? Sure. I'll give it to you when we're done talking. Oh, um. okay. <laughs> Here's that phone number. Thanks. Call that dude up. Mm-hmm. So and he's gotten over his uh, penny pinching. Oh, by the way, I want you to notice this ad on the left page for a, for a dog. Um, a, a, I, I guess it's like a... Dog grooming place or something for or, grooming or, your wolf or something. Or, uh, I mean or, that. <laughs> yeah, or a clinic, and and you would think that of course that wouldn't matter just because it's it's you know it's a page on the same letter as the page that we were interested in. But yeah, I'm fairly sure I'm that matters. Out. Yeah, you would be Come totally on. wrong. What? No, that's kind of stupid. Shit always matters. No, I you, you're right. Oh, okay. If, if you if, if you reasonably thought that that yeah. was mere coincidence, then you would be foolish. Yes. <laughs> as if you had never played such a game before. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go and get the pattern because we asked this technical artist to recreate the pattern. Um, Can you chat up that hoe? That is a hoe, right? I don't. I think that's How's supposed to be a today? businesswoman who's walking aimlessly what? around oh, the park. Oh, it's only you. Yeah, in the Man, oldest business. I have been business. jumpy all day. <laughs> that, that pattern of yours really freaked me out for some reason. There's just something creepy. You finished it? Yeah, and you're welcome to it. Here. Wow, this is great. Uh-huh. Just don't, like, blow up the planet with it or something, okay? I didn't mean to upset you. Ah, oh, forget it. I'm probably just being stupid. Do your thing with it, and good luck. Why couldn't they have hired that guy to be Gabriel Knight? Mm. I don't know who that guy is, but if you're out there, you're a good voice actor. All of those lines were competently directed. 
So all of a sudden, Gabriel knows that that thing is called a veve. Okay, then. Uh -huh. All right. So now we've got it. The police have not bothered to do this. Like, they don't even give a shit. Well, they're just not very good at their jobs. Lots of people aren't good at their jobs. Yeah, that's true. Is that a fortune teller? Yes. <laughs> I thought I was joking. She happened to be there. Let's talk with her. Looks like, you know, Lucy's $5. Right. The doctor is How's business? Yeah. How's business? I have no time for such dull conversation, darling. Come on, boys. Hoopla. Uh, when I said the voice acting was better, I didn't mean her. Hoopla? Hoopla. I don't what know. on earth? And they, they play like a variation of the Gabriel Knight theme. So, so she's doing a little dance. So she can do a little dance. Reason? And I, I forget I forgot how you're supposed to interact with her. What you're supposed Kick to do her? No, what you're supposed to do is um use the pick up icon on her. But I, I forgot which one it was. You can't use her, you have to try to pick <laughs> her up. It's oh a, my god. But it never says pick up. I mean you could say take and what Not would he do? Idea. Would he forcibly Ooh, baby, I love the way you smooth. Ugh. Yeah. He's a creep. Yep. She wants me. Uh huh. Once again, I I don't think that Tim Curry was maybe the right choice for this. The actor that portrays Gabriel in the second game is, is pretty good. I mean it's way better, for sure. Um but okay, so she has a book this is so stupid. She has a snake. <laughs> And like I said, Gabriel's going to be going sports. around trying to check out every snake in the <laughs> fucking area to try to figure out whose it is. Mm. So that's why you're supposed to do this. When that's it, so she, stupid. I know. Um, yeah. No, I mean, there have to be a, literally a million snakes. Not to mention the ones that people don't own. Oh, and look at this. You need to use the tweezers on it, but you can't just do it. You have to examine it first mm. and then use... and. So you have to use the magnifying glass on the stupid thing, and I can't get the right goddamn icon. And then you see the scale. Now you can grab the tweezers and tweeze the goddamn thing. What a... I mean... You could start to see why this this style of gaming died out. All right, and it's not the same fucking snail. Sna uh, Snake. Scale. <laughs> Snake. It's not a snail of it's any sort. It's not a snail at all. <laughs> it's it's not at all snaily. Not even a slug. Uh, all right, let's give her, her her scarf back. I think this veil belongs to you. Well, do we get anything huh. out of giving it back? My veil. She's gonna read our I'm fortune. I'm always oh. losing those things. You useful? have no idea. Well, darling, you're such a sweetie to return a lady's delicate and so handsome as well. I really hope they will pay this actress. <laughs> and since you have such a clear interest in fortune telling, let me see your hands. Uh, they look are we so gonna read his dick? Strong. Your hands? Perhaps they will make both our fortunes clear. No? Like, I have relatives I that have would. accents. Hmm. I've never strong. met any person who talked like yes. this. So we currently and live in the south, and I've flexible. never, and like people from various parts of the yeah. south are yeah. here because this is like oh, the city good. in the south where you would I ever want to be. Woman in your immediate future. Nobody sounds like that. No, she is a dangerous one, dark and beautiful. Ah, I see the road of your life, Falcon. Oh, and very yeah. soon. <laughs> <laughs> the blood drains from Madame Lorelei's face in an instant. Sweat beads on her upper lip. Dramatic. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> oh, God. Beware. Beware. <laughs> I think that's my favorite line reading in the entire game. Mm. What is it about Beware. me? Beware. Anyway, okay, so the fortune teller saw something really fucked up. The universe uh, that, that this exists in does allow for the paranormal, um, uh, as we'll see. So we're, we're not necessarily supposed to think that that was nothing. We think that maybe that fortune teller is uh, keying into some bad mojo. Mm. All right, 
Let's go to that lecture. Again, I, nothing that gets said during this lecture, Gabriel couldn't have gotten out of a library book. Like, he just... He likes lectures. He's a writer. That is his profession, yeah. and he owns a bookstore. Well, you know, it's like how kids today, instead of Googling something, will, like, ask Twitter. Hmm. The word voodoo may sound familiar to you. What is known in the States as voodoo is actually an amalgamation of African religious systems, voodoo, and European religions, primarily Catholicism. All of the subcults of African voodoo have certain things in common. The most important is the worship of a pantheon of spirits instead of the single deity that the Maybe Christian Maybe they thought it would be more plausible had. to have that guy talking rather than a voiceover reading. Or maybe they t they were like, oh god, Tim Curry cannot Some read of these spirits line. are Let's elementals. Let's have other people speak. Some relate to specific tasks I mean, or places. Some represent important tribal leaders. Some of it died. isn't bad. I, 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 like, I think that some of the times when he wasn't being really hammy, he was fine. With all those spirits, mm. it's no problem to add a few more. Say, for example, the Virgin Mary. At the height of tribal Africa, warfare was common. The one tribe would conquer another, and the Loa, but important in the you know, I don't know that, that, that people in New Orleans have an accent like they're portraying. I, you know, I... Some of them sound like they're from New Jersey. Yeah, they just sound it's like normal people. Thing. I mean, it's a city. It's like any other big city in America, mm. with, with the exception maybe of Nashville. Yeah, Nashville people have an the accent. Yeah, they do. Religion seems to be as old Chicago as people have an himself. accent. That whole Chicago it has much accent. In common yeah, with many early pagan but not, places. you know, animal totems. Sympathy they don't have like a dialect. They just Elemental sound spirits a little in the trees, the heavens, the bodies of the sick. Africa is believed by many to be the cradle of the human race. Some of the voodoo loa may be as old as the Garden of Eden itself. We still can't explain some of the real power of these primal religions. And note, I said primal, not primitive. There are African bokors who baffle our scientists with their supernatural powers. Mm -hmm. Now, let's discuss the elements of voodoo. <sighs> Fascinating guy. Hey, in you didn't have to go. The mm. spirits are called the Loa. I mean, he's he's been there for two minutes. Yeah. During a voodoo I've ceremony, been to some bad lectures, but I don't, I don't judge it that quick. By the Loa. Now, this is called being ridden. The human mm. worshiper is seen as a horse, and the Loa as the divine horseman. Okay, so Loa are spirits. The person being ridden by a Loa takes on the characteristics of that spirit and becomes, in effect, merely a vessel for the more powerful entity. Mm-hmm. Some of the older, original Africa Loa include Dambala, Dambala. the great serpent god. the snake, okay. His ruler, the mistress of love. Papa Nabo, or Gede, the lord of death. Do you think maybe we'll have a quiz Agwe, later? <laughs> the spirit of water. Mm, well, Nabo, I mean, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we had something along the lines of the a quiz. And the cruelest and most dangerous. Keep that in mind. Ogun Badagri. The Lord of Good thing I'm paying attention. Yeah. Agun Badagri. Oh, I gotta get more sleep. Is the that. really bad one. Uh, tribe specific loa can have as much or more power as the more widely worshipped loa. For instance, a particular tribe might revere highly the. You notice that there are like plosive sounds during, hunter, like they didn't even do a good, they didn't even try to do a good job of recording this. Maybe Wooden they were going for authenticity. I mean, oh, you like he's talking into a. But the, yeah, okay. yeah, it's, it's surely it's it's totally intentional. It's not even a big lecture hall. Would you use a microphone? In for a voodoo hound for there's eight there's rows. A ritual circle marked by a center pole called a poto mitan. The ritual circle is prepared with a vele. All right. A pattern of symbols. So this guy knows about vele. Each tribe's vele is slightly different. Consisting of Can we ask him about ours, that or yeah. would yeah. that be too No, we're going to do that. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Totally logical. Will he know something? During ritual to watch. conclaves, mm. uh, initiates dance under the supervision of a so and a mama loa. Another takeaway from this lecture is the that is that women are dominant within the voodoo religion. Is, is that true? I don't know if it is, now but in, in this universe, it's, it's a, a female-driven thing. Practice. 
much like Maya Geddes's family. Ritual object are you saying that the Geddes are somehow involved in all this? I don't know. Hmm. Could be. Ooh, the ritual, knife sword. Or ritual knife. Ritual knife. Kubasa. That right? knife gives me the chills. I've seen I that before. What's the advantage of it being wiggly like that is? The ritual By the way, here's a Fwet Cash. Which we saw referenced and which uh, Magenta Gandhi didn't know. Coffin mm. or Seke Madule. A Seke little tiny Madule. coffin. These items are often optional, called for by the Mama Loa for specific magical rituals. The Mama Loa is the most powerful figure in any Voodoo sect. Voodoo is a truly matriarchal system. Even the Bokor knows his power is limited. The Mama Loa is the supreme woman. She, or the wolves, hmm? well, butterflies, they won't place you, hmm? fireflies. So, what? Gabriel um, is falling asleep. Oh, okay. That's helpful. Mm -hmm. This is like his job. <laughs> Firelight. <laughs> Gabriel? Mm, what? I can't see. Gabriel, get in. It's too small for me. You must get in, Gabriel. It's not mine. Too small. Hide, Gabriel. Hide. No, no. Let me out. Hell. Quick, kids. What is the small Young coffin man. called? The I don't know. A goon by degree, right? Uh, oh something something like that. Okay, so Gabriel had a weird dream, and he heard somebody... Uh, talking to him, I don't if you know if you. Uh, oh, by the way, you can go to the recording that he made, and all you hear is snoring at the end, so you can't listen to the rest of the lecture. Yeah. So no matter how many times you fast forward past that, it's always just snoring. Awesome. Yeah. Which is fine. I, you know, I think we got everything we needed out of that. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's talk to Are the prof. You a no. My name is Knight. Gabriel Knight. His office is just full of Well, creepy you have shit walked in into there. my hmm. private office, Mr. Knight. Kind I of nice have something worthwhile to do here. If you figure it out, let me know. It was an office off of a lecture hall. Uh, yeah. See the fishies? Yeah. Cool. I don't think I've ever seen a professor with fishies. I think because they like to not be in their offices a lot. <laughs> And if I pick your brain, and the fish would die. Not if it will get you out of my office. It's a pretty understanding guy, all told. What do you he know could get Gabriel out of his ass. office by saying, "Go I away! Uh, I'm not about talking to papers. you." Yeah. I must admit to some interest, but according to the newspapers, the voodoo aspect is faked, so I haven't really pursued it. You know how Americans, especially Hollywood, treats voodoo. I'm sure there are many so-called practitioners out there that have no idea what they're doing or the power they're playing with. Mm -hmm. No doubt. Tell me about Veves. If you'd taken notes during my lecture, you wouldn't have to ask. Recorded it. Okay, so now we can show him the the Veve. Well, we could have before, but I just wanted to say that show that he at first he doesn't think anything of. Can you tell me or. anything about this pattern? Wow. Interesting. Very interesting. Mind if I copy this? Be my guest. Great. I'll be right back. I'll go back into the lecture hall where there's a copy machine. Well, yeah. I mean, there's a copier in every lecture hall in America. Mm hmm Duh. Here you go. You know, this is a fascinating baby. You must tell um, me all about its origin. No, you Actually, tell I was us hoping you'd it. tell me. Can you figure out anything about it from the symbols? Well, some. That's why I wanted to copy. I want to research the design myself. Each of the symbols... That's good, because we cannot do research at all. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're terrible. How did we ever write a book Where before? I mean, Jesus, <laughs> everybody else does all the work. Have you heard of the some, uh... No, you're kidding. Really? Then the voodoo is authentic. Okay. Mm. The newspapers are wrong. Boy, are they wrong. You think this veve is authentic then authentic mr knight that's like asking if the mona lisa is a painting so Tell yes you what. Hmm. i'll uh, look into these symbols myself and see what i can learn about the sect that made this 
I'll give you a call when I have more information. Uh, you are associated with the police, aren't you? Absolutely. But I'm, uh, undercover. You can contact me at the St. George's Bookshop in the quarter. All right. Now, I'd like to get started on this, if you don't mind. <laughs> okay. Sure. Doing my job for me. No, we oh, for yeah, a few more know, questions. Yeah. Gee. He told you to go away. Anyway, now you can ask what him about the Voodoo about murders Voodoo? again. Oh. Hmm, just what I read in the papers until you showed me that baby. I wasn't interested before, but now... Yes, I'd like to figure out where these people come from and what they're up to. Killing they people? They are obviously some very frightening and... Oh, you mean why were they killing people? Serious. No. We'll see. I assume. And if anybody knows what Cabri Sancor means, surely he would know. Yeah, that right? seems like a good theory. Yeah. Can you tell me anything about that veve I showed you? No, he can't. I told you I would research it, Mr. Knight. When I have anything concrete, I'll let you know. You might know a few trivial facts right now. No. It's not totally beyond the... Do you have any idea what Cabri Sancor means? Cabri Sancor. Yes, I do. It's a Haitian term, I believe. It's French. And literally translates as goat without horns. As in a female goat? No, as in a human sacrifice. Mm. Mm. Sacrifices in Voodoo are usually of the animal variety. Chickens, bulls, goats. Oh, if the gods geez. demand a goat without horns, it means a human being. Okay. People are mean to goats. So we heard the Dixieland drugstore guy say Cabri What was that translation of a... I'm not in the habit of repeating anyway, you can't ask him any more about that. Mm. So... That was Tell me more about human <laughs> sacrifice. Well, you take a person it's and you uh, kill him in a ritualistic way. Exactly what I <laughs> do this. <laughs> human sacrifice is a matter of record, but it is theoretically possible if that's the gods demand. For example, one of the chants I had translated for me from a Haitian ritual went like this. Mistress Azuli, come and aid us. You have if to say it just is like demanded, that. Yeah. We will give it. If a bull will suffice, behold it. But if a goat without horns is required for sacrifice, oh where will we find one? There's people all around. Azuli yeah. is the gentlest of Loa, so they call on her for mercy. But I have seen grown and powerful Hungan tremble before a possession by one of the more violent Loa, such as Papa Nilo. Clearly, they are afraid that something of the sort will be ordered, or that the Loa will simply take it for themselves. Okie dokie. All right, not much to learn from the prof. Isn't that always the way? We can also show no, him the... Not really. Is there anything you can tell me about the voodoo aspects of this photograph? Hmm, this is serious voodoo ritual. Nasty stuff. No shit. In what way? <laughs> Let's see. I can't make out much detail from this photograph. Except for the corpse, of course. Oh, but the wound, figure. the face, and what little I can see of the ritual paraphernalia. Mm. Mm. Reminds me of certain black voodoo and practices. Very rare. I've never witnessed them myself, you understand. Really? I did kill a prostitute one time, Thanks. but it was nothing like this. Yeah, that was just because she bitch wouldn't give me my money back. Oh, that's why? I thought mm. I thought you normally okay, accidentally thanks. killed the prostitute. Oh, yeah, maybe. And then you have to bury her out in the right. Yeah. So that dream is disturbing. Let's let's inquire with uh, Grandma about <laughs> well being stuffed into little boxes. <laughs> well, now we know about Wolfgang Ritter. Mm. He's my so. favorite grandson. How nice. And I, uh, I skipped over the first time some You're details about grandson, but nice try, Grand. some details about Gabriel's Make life. Yourself at home, son. So let's get a, like this is one of those awkward things where a person tells you about your life, <laughs> like, well, you know, you grew up, blah blah blah. Yeah. Yep. Can you tell me about Marie? Before? Tell me something. Your granddad. Tell me something. Your grand, maybe that. Tell me some. Harrison was only 36 when he died. Your father was eight years old at the time. 
Your granddad was hit by a streetcar in the business district. Sucks. Took me nearly a year to believe he was really gone. I'm sorry, Gran. I know you are, dear. Like a literal streetcar? Mm -hmm. Tell me. Did you know that your granddad was a poet? He was! He wrote the most beautiful poetry for me when we were courting. I always thought he should have done something with that gift. But he was such a practical man. Didn't believe in chasing after dreams. Dreams. Tell me. I don't. Not that kind. Tell of me about my. Your father was my only child, Phillips. We saw this already. Tell me about my. When Philip met your mother, it was love at first sight. They were married two weeks later. Never looked at a girl seriously until then, and he looked at plenty. You have your father's way with women, Gabriel, and your granddad's. <laughs> oh. Tell me about my father. I wanted to just lay down and die when he and your mother were killed in that car crash when you were only eight. It was the thought of taking care of you that kept me going, Gabriel. The police say your father swerved off the road after being frightened by something. Perhaps a deer in the road or a wild cat. A leopard? He was exactly the same age Tell me about that Philip was when Philip his father died, eight mind. years old. He was obsessed by that thought. He pushed Philip to go to law school. Philip was driven to art. He painted almost in a daze. He would get so inside himself when he worked. Tell me about He always hated it that it was Margaret's money that supported the three of you when his painting couldn't. I kept telling him, try something more cheerful, like a landscape or two. But he couldn't do it. His work was just too dark and disturbing for the public, you know. Anyway, there's something weird going on with their past, and... Tell me about... I don't know... Tell me... Your mother was Margaret Templeton when your... Mm -hmm. Tell me about... Your mother's family refused to give her money after the marriage. All she had mm -hmm. left was a modest trust fund from a great aunt, who happened to like Philip. The remainder of your mother's trust fund became yours when she died. That's what you use to open your bookshelf. <laughs> oh, is it? Right. Is that what I did? Like he wouldn't know that. Oh, yeah. yeah. The Templetons are all gone now. Every last one of them. They never wanted anything to do with us, of course. What a waste. Tell me. I don't. Let's ask about Wolfgang. Do you know anyone named Wolfgang Ritter? As I said, your granddad's surname was originally Ritter. I never learned much about his family. But from things he said, I always thought he had a brother back in Germany. I don't know if Wolfgang Ritter is related to your granddad or not. I'm going to go with probably. Yeah, he says he is, so what are the odds he's not? You know, you get... Tell me about you. What? What do you do all day? What do you do all day? That's, people love being you know, asked I that. To knit I have actually my asked my grandmother what she I does all day. I also take long walks. Yeah. It's the only way to keep an old body like mine from stiffening and up. And she does pretty You're much those old. things, too. Yeah, no, I, that's almost exactly the answer that I get. I'm older than the hills. Well, not that part, but... Yeah, that's that's a, almost an authentic moment well, right there. Well, man, <laughs> I better get going. <laughs> all right, dear. I mean, fair enough. I don't know what I would do if I was retired. I would sit around a lot. I record video games and then talk <laughs> over them. <laughs> yeah. What? It's ridiculous. Trying to face the music. Maybe I might get more cats. Oh, God. Because <laughs> enough time isn't consumed by the cats. They're my, they're, no, maybe. Mm -hmm. They're such nice kitties. Good thing they kind of held off on the important stuff. Give me back my badge. Now, Knight. What? Sure. Thanks the for badge. letting me borrow What's it. What's a badge? Yeah. <laughs> you borrowed again in your history. It's highly illegal. He should probably. <laughs> okay, so I. Glad you made. Later, I try to establish why he could get away with that. You know, mm. handling suspects, that sort of thing. 
I'm sure it'll be invigorating. Uh, who is this guy anyway? Calls himself Crash. He's been an informant for us before, mostly helping us bust small-time pimps and dealers trying to break into the territory. Well, he's been staying invisible during these murders, but we picked him up this morning to Jackson Square. Pushing coke? He knows something. Call it Detective's Instinct. He knows where to get Detective's coke. Detective's Instinct. Got it. In Jackson Square? To who? Tourists? Well, wherever he gets it from All to right, sell it Crash. to tourists. I want to hear about these murders. You've been present at the so-called voodoo rituals? I don't know nothing. I told you. Oh, come on now. You can tell me. Do you know anyone who's been to these rituals? Look. I, I can't say nothing. You've got to let me go, man. Ask for now You lawyer. relax. No one knows you're here. The man who picked you up were plain clothes. He's not under arrest. Plain clothes. Then like he can, you can just leave. Mm. <laughs> they know I'm here. They've got ears all over the city. They who, incidentally? They know everything. Now, who are they, Crash? Are they the ones doing the murders? Let me go. The Shriners. You're so worried about <laughs> being Damn it, the Shriners. Start talking. Now, you tell me what I want to hear, and maybe I can get you in the witness protection program. You have to they hurt. drive around in their little cars. Protection with their silly Are you hats. crazy? Don't make me laugh. Jesus, just let me out of here. Now, come on. Who's behind these murders, Crash? Why are the victims all members of the underworld? Oh, my God. He's a terrible now police officer. Mm. I mean, it's, it's different when I'm supposed to come here. Well, if I can send a message, tell him I didn't say nothing. Christ, he's freaking useless. Take him back to detain him, would you, Tony? I guess he is under arrest. Well, he was pushing coke, so... They yeah, but he's a snitch. I mean, don't they get away with mm, it? Maybe. I'll tell you, times like this, when they I actually kill for snitch, truth but serving. right now he's not snitching. Damn the civil rights. Can I quote you on that? <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. Damn. We only keep him for 24 hours. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna have to let him go. Sorry it wasn't more exciting. Yeah, for the book, I mean. Maybe you can punch it up some. You know, what do they call that? Fiction, that's it. It certainly is. I'll see what I can do. Okay. The music on this is really can silly. I ask you? <laughs> anyway. What's um, the status on the voodoo murders case? Unsolved. It sure as hell ain't going well. There's a lot of breaks being applied in different areas of the investigation. We're getting some real info on the victims now, and they're not exactly upstanding citizens. How is that new? That was in the newspaper was two days ago. Crash, but he's really he's bad at his job. We'll have to let him go tomorrow morning. On the other hand, we have information that we're totally not telling him. Well, we, we you will. Anything about it. Well, because it's rude. What? Bebe's. They're ritualistic patterns used in voodoo. You know, like those marks we found around the body. You know what the department says about that night, that voodoo stuff is fake. What if they're yeah, being well, stupid? Yeah, well, they're wrong. These bebes... Who? Who in the look, department is saying that? Just stop worrying about Yeah, aren't marks. you the one I don't the think one they're relevant. On the case or whatever. And why? I mean, why would you think that? Tell me about yourself. For the book? Sure. sure. Why not? Okay, what do you want to know? Anyway, what do you do all day? I I showed this just to establish the fact that Gabriel and and Mosley have How's known each other life? for a really long time. Oh, real mm. funny night. Why don't you just bring in some freaking salt? Well, you know, Annie left me. My home life is shit. Right. Sorry about that. Oops. I don't know anything about myself. To just be fair. Just tell me anything at all. Remember how we used to play monkey in the middle? <laughs> we used to piss off our senior year teacher. What was her name? Ms. McKelly? You only had one. You'd act like you were going to toss her an eraser or something. Then you'd throw it to me over Who her head. Who keep away with a high and school teacher? We used to teacher. do it at your grand's, yeah. too. Like with the remote when she wanted to watch your soaps. That's yep. rude. And mm -hmm. it was a great way to pick up women in the library. Oh, oh, those were the days. That would not be a good way to pick up women. Annoy them? Are like, they throwing things? Are they young enough that there would have been remote controls? I'm going to hmm. hit the road. I don't know. This was have 1993 when they were wouldn't that have been like 20 years earlier. 
Well, I mean, those were... Did they have it in, 19, in the 1970s? They had remotes? Didn't they? Like, maybe they were wired? I think they were remotes. How do you remotes, play though? Keep Away with a wired remote? Well, yeah. That, that would be ridiculous. That does present a problem. But didn't they have the clicker and it was literally like... Hello, beautiful. Yeah, no, they did. I had one. I had a VCR with that. I wish that, you wouldn't wear that coat outside wow. in June. Yeah. I'll smell you from here. It was old as hell. Yeah, it had a wired remote. My dad's, I guess it just didn't have any kind of remote, wired or otherwise. All right, now we've talked to Grandma. She thinks it's possible that Wolfgang is... Uh, you have to actually dial oh, the Oh, I know, and the keypad doesn't work. You have to use the mouse. And I, I have this me number memorized now. <laughs> I'm looking for Wolfgang Ritter. Yeah, in a moment. Yeah, is this Gabriel on the phone? This is Gabriel Knight. Why are you calling me, Mr. Ritter? I have been having premonitions of great danger for you, Gabriel. You must leave New Orleans this very day. What um, the hell are you talking sure about? Thing, old man. It is hard to explain on the phone. I have had sensitive uh, feelings about you. It took me a long time to have you tracked down. I had a sense that Heinz had a grandson, but until these dreams started, I, I did not know if I should contact you. You say you're related to my grandfather? Yes. Heinz was my brother. There is much about the family that you should know, Gabriel. Come to Schloss Ritter in Rittersberg, West Germany. It is our family home. I will tell you everything when you come. You must come immediately. You are in great danger there. Look, I appreciate the family spirit and all, but frankly, I don't know you from Adam, and I'm not going to fly off to Germany, even if I could afford it. Gabriel, please, if you won't listen, at least let me send you something. It is a journal from one of your ancestors. Promise me you will read it. Yeah. I, I don't I read things. It. Yeah, he does please, seem curious. Gabriel. Maybe he can give it to somebody else to read for him. I'll have I'll have Grace read it for me. Last hope, please. The last for hope for our line. Reads a journal. All right, I'll look at. It doesn't sound like that's about procreation. <laughs> and come to me as soon as you can. Goodbye. And the letter earlier to um, to to the grandfather talked about his obligations that he was shirking. So we think maybe there's something going on. And he did procreate, so yeah, seems like it's not. That but only good. once. Yeah. Well, and that's something the best he could do. and some something kills these people off when they have kids that are eight years old. But yeah, Gabriel doesn't cars. have a kid. See ya. Couldn't they just made it a car? I mean, it wouldn't have been that long ago. By the way, was there still West Germany in 1993? Well, I mean, Didn't in the, the wall part fall of it was more west than the no, other No, but they, he called it West Germany. Yeah, that was like 1989, right? I thought the wall... Well, but maybe they didn't reunify right away. Yeah. Wow, that's embarrassing that we don't know. Well, I mean, at least we know that there used to be East and West Germany and part of <laughs> That's the East. True, I guess. The East Germans were communists, <laughs> except for the ones who wanted to run away, but they kind of couldn't because there was that hole. And David Hasselhoff was there for some reason. Let's check out Molly. Miss Giddy is not at home, sir. Can you tell me where she is? Mm -hmm. It's very important. She's visiting her mother's grave, Mr. Knight. Something even you can't be tasteless enough. To want to oh, interrupt. I think we probably are. I'm insulted that he would think that we <laughs> wouldn't bother to go to the graveyard to interrupt her visit to the graveyard. Seriously, it's like he doesn't even know us. Yeah. Has he met us? <laughs> we impersonated an officer of the law. We're pretty clearly stalker. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> Like, we're going to let a graveyard <laughs> stop us. Come on. We actually committed a crime to get in and talk to her. A they have a name for that. One. It's called stalking. Hey, there's that chick. Malia. Mr. Knight, what are you doing here? Mm -hmm. Uh, my family's Stalk tomb you. is here. <laughs> Mine, too. I noticed. Really? Subtle. Well, Mr. Knight, if there's nothing else. Don't go. I need to talk to you. Whatever for. I'll I can't like stop thinking creep. about you. I've been in your thoughts, oh too. God. I can see it in your eyes. 
Mr. Knight, you don't know anything I'm about me. You're a giant creep. I'm not in a position to get involved. I've said that a million times myself. Also, but this you're is different. a creepy creep. I think we both know we can't fight it. Oh, I can't believe I'm saying this. I have so many obligations. Nor My family you. is very traditional. You wouldn't understand. Hey, I love tradition. I've seen Fiddler on the Roof a hundred times. This isn't a musical, Mr. Knight. I don't Mr. think Knight. they're Jewish. We live in different worlds. Look, I know you've got more money than God. Do you think I care? Do you think that's why I'm saying this? No, I don't. Maybe a Why little. don't you come see my world? I have a little bookshop, St. George's, on Bourbon. I know. See? I knew it. You're crazy about me, too. I avoid that. Come back tonight. Please. Yeah, you've been reverse stocking. My world <laughs> isn't so bad. I'm sorry, but there's no place for someone like you in my life. Not now, not ever. Damn it. I, I noticed you're wearing the same clothes that you were yesterday. So are you. Well, if you looked in Gabriel's closet, he only has white t-shirts and jeans. Oh. If you look at it, that's what it says. Well, that keeps things simple. Yeah, so I guess we're meant to think that he changed his clothes, but he's got the white man's uniform, right? Or is that a black t-shirt? I can't remember. Black t-shirt and jeans, the white man, white middle class man's uniform. Hello. The same fucking quip every time. I know. Well, there's Maybe a few, but now. it's random. Got a minute? This part's weird. If you don't remember to do this here, you me. can't do it. Sure. Why? Or, or maybe you have to wait till the next day. I have a pattern hmm. I need you to research. How interesting. What is it? It's a reconstruction of the tracings they found around the murder victims. The ones done in flour and blood. Ugh. You shouldn't carry this kind of thing around. Who knows what these symbols mean? Well, wear your evil banishing gloves if you want. You but think check you it out, please, me, murder me. I'll see what I can find out. Anything else? I can't. Okay. Research that shit. He's really disinclined to do any research himself. Well, apparently he can get everyone else to do it for him. So 